Dreams are internal regulators. They are powerful forces for equilibrium. Hi, this is Emerald and welcome to the Diamond Net, and today I'm going to be giving a book review on Dream Theaters of the Soul, Empowering the Feminine Through Jungian Dream Work by Jean Benedict Rafa. Now Jean Rafa is one of my favorite authors, and she writes things under the Jungian uh, psychological framework, and she also analyzes dreams. And so this, uh, this particular book is all about how to interpret your dreams using the Jungian framework. Now, in the first part of the book, she gives a general overview about how to write your dreams down and how to analyze them and interpret them, um, and she advocates putting uh, your dreams in terms of saying that you're doing them in present tense. So instead of saying, if like you went to into a shed when you were having the dream, instead of saying, oh, I went into a shed, say, I'm going into a shed and I'm experiencing this. It's always in the present moment. And so that's very, very practical and very, very um, helpful for anybody who is interested in dream journaling. It just kind of keeps everything organized and it keeps you in the present tense of things. Now the second part of the book is all about how different aspects of the psyche and different aspects of the personality are expressed through dreams. And so there's a section about the ego, which is our main decision-making center. Um, it is the thing that we identify with ourselves, and it's our conscious mind. There's also a section about the persona, which is our social appearance. There's another section about the shadow, which are all the aspects that we have disowned about ourselves, all the things that we do not uh, want to see in ourselves. There's another section about the animus, which represents the masculine aspects in a woman that might otherwise go repressed. Now, there's also the anima, which she doesn't touch on in the book, that has to do with the feminine aspects of man that might go um, repressed. And then there's the self. That is the ultimate core of ourself, and it's also connected deeply to the collective conscious and it is our most authentic being. And so she gives in each of these sections different examples of dreams that she's had personally and shows us uh, first-hand examples of what she's experienced in relation to these different um, aspects of the psyche. And so I really, really enjoyed this book. I thought it was really great. It gave me a lot of great knowledge on how to keep my own dream journal. And I just found it very, very practical and also very, very relatable. Like I really love her writing style because I always feel like I'm having a conversation with a good friend. And she has two other books too that I, I love as well. And so I'll be doing some reviews on those in the future. But I really, really enjoy Dream Theaters for the Soul, or Dream Theaters of the Soul, I'm sorry. Um, I really enjoy this book. I highly recommend it to anybody who's interested in dreams. And so I give Dream Theaters of the Soul five shadows out of five. Well, that's all I have for you today. Um, I hope that you enjoyed this book review. Stay tuned every other Wednesday for more book reviews. And also check out my other videos. I have a Q&A segment every other Wednesday. And I also have other big topic videos where I cover um, issues about um, just expanding the consciousness in general and just understanding more about yourself and society outside of yourself and how those things come together. And so if you like this video, go ahead, give it a big thumbs up. Uh, go ahead, click the subscribe button below to get notifications when new videos come out. Otherwise, I hope that you enjoyed this video. And until next time, keep becoming more you.